Welcome to this episode of Health Reversion. First and foremost, this is not a video about me selling creatine or asking you to jump on an affiliate link or anything like that. So just wanted to make that clear from the outset. This is simply taking hours and hours of research that you would need to do and essentially putting that into a five, six minute video that covers decades of research in not only the physical benefits of creatine, but also the mental health benefits. So listen on. So here's what you need to know. Creatine is a very popular supplement that has been traditionally used in the fitness industry. It is made in the body, but only in very small amounts. So the best sources of creatine are meat and seafood. But also, if you're looking for an efficient way to get your creatine, you can look at supplementation. It's available at most supermarkets and it's reasonably inexpensive. This non-steroidal supplement has significant physical benefits pertaining to increased muscle mass, lowering inflammation in the body, as well as increased energy production to do pretty much anything, lift, jump, even just clean the house. But specifically regarding the mental health benefits of creatine, there are over two decades worth of studies that have come up with the following benefits that creatine has for your mental health. First of all, a reduction in the symptoms of depression and anxiety. Being more resilient when it comes to stress and coping with stress and challenges in your life. A decrease in inflammation in the brain and also a simultaneous increase in the health of your mitochondria within the brain. The mitochondria are the energy production centers or engines like a car, if you will. And when there are low levels of creatine in the body, the mitochondria don't work as efficiently as they can. But when you supplement, when you increase those stores of creatine, the mitochondria function a lot more optimally. And that's where the whole depression, anxiety, inflammation can be reduced. And some final benefits include cognitive performance and processing, particularly within individuals that are stressed uh, or sleep deprived. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely both of those. And I don't know who isn't sleep deprived or stressed in 2024. And last one, improvements in short term memory. And I can personally vouch for this, having supplemented with creatine and noticing those benefits where I can recall things at work and when I'm working with my students uh, much more effectively since supplementing with creatine. So the evidence suggests that individuals in a stressed or sleep deprived state, they draw down on their creatine stores, their natural stores of creatine. Now this has applications for people with anxiety, depression, PTSD, all kinds of trauma that people are suffering or, or realizing that they're suffering from. And because there's certain, let's call them nefarious agendas out there that are pushing plant-based diets and restricting animal foods or saying no to animal foods, these creatine stores in many people's bodies are getting severely depleted. So if you're vegan or if you're a vegetarian and you do not want to have red meat, you do not want to have seafood, that's okay. You can take the creatine in the supplement form. You don't need to be doing the massive loading that a lot of the gym junkies do where they actually load up on the creatine for a period of five, 10, maybe even longer days uh, to, to build up the stores and increase the water retention in their muscles. We're not looking for that here in the, when we're focusing on the mental health. So just five grams a day could be something that you could start. And a noteworthy point here is that it does take a little bit of time for the body to recognize and build up those stores. So it's not gonna be an instant, you know, I'll take five grams of creatine, knock that back and oh, suddenly I can remember things and suddenly my depression goes away. It's gonna take a little while for those stores to build up. So the suggestion here today is five grams per day taken over at least a month and then reassessing how you feel after that. I can personally vouch for it and I'm not here trying to sell anything. I don't benefit from anything, but I know that creatine has definitely changed my capacity to deal with the stuff that's going on in 2024. I also want to make a note about cost of living because I understand that it's just going through the roof. 
but I've worked out that for around about one US dollar a week, you would be able to take those five grams of creatine over that prolonged period if you can buy in the bulk packages. So a dollar a week, one US dollar a week to have increased cognitive performance, a relief from your depression, anxiety, PTSD symptoms, the ability to have greater performance and just know that your brain is in a better state of health. I think it's pretty reasonable price to pay, um, but I do understand that not everybody has the ability to do that. So there you have it. In a nutshell, creatine is not just for physical performance and for the gym junkies, it's also mental. So if you do decide, or if you're already supplementing with creatine and you know the benefits, please share in the comments down below so other people can get that validation, they can get that experience and they can see from others. If you're going to start this and, and do it over a month, looking at that five grams a day, let me know how you go. I really would be interested to see if it makes a difference either way. So until the next video, keep well.